Okay guys, this is key number seven and the message I got last night for this, it was very, very clear. They said widen the gap, widen the gap. And I'm starting to understand that we're gonna be getting a lot of messages over the next, you know, however many videos are left um, about like the space in between, about making space, about silence and stillness and like the byways and the interstices, if that's, if that's the word I'm looking for, like the middle ground, the overlap, that's, that's a really big theme. But for today, the one they're zeroing in on is widen the gap, widen the gap. And you're gonna have an immediate impression um, on what that means for you and you should definitely roll with that. <laughs> but for me, I have, a, I have another story <laughs> basically about what unfolded for me after I received the message. And I know a big part of this is literally opening up space in our light bodies. Um, and, and in doing so, opening up space in like the earth's energetic mess. Cause from what I, you know, what I've been able to glimpse, um, you know, earth's entire energetic thing, like our whole 3D construct, the whole 3D level of the hologram of our un universe has been like super crunched in on itself, right? Because we've been down in density and it's made everything super, super compact, compacted, super, super crunched up. <laughs> and what we're doing is basically unfolding, relaxing, unkinking and making space. And what I keep seeing is that yes, the silver ray light is coming in to fill in the gaps that we are opening up, but also that I mean, the silver ray frequency has always been here, especially in silver as a precious metal, right? That's how it has been densified. And, but it's also just as we relax and unfold and make space and widen the gap, it just shines out from within, right? It shines out from within Earth's whole structure and from everybody's own structure. And this is why it's so important to relax and let go, um, you know, which is just a message we, we all get constantly all the time, right? And I keep seeing because in order to receive, we need to open our light bodies. And how do we open our light bodies? It starts in the center. What is the center of our light body? It's actually our physical body, right? The physical body is the center of all of our light bodies. So if you want to open your light body to receive whatever it is that you want to receive, you, you begin by relaxing your mind, relaxing your body, and then that relaxes and opens your light body and then you expand and receive more of everything from the universe. <sighs> I even had uh, in a private reading a while ago, someone's guides were <laughs> basically, like the message I had to relay was like, you need to make relaxation your top number one priority for the entire rest of the month because that is the biggest, best, most important thing you could do to be of service to the whole universe. And I think that applies for most of us. <laughs> um, so, so anyway, after they told me to widen the gap, I was like, okay, well that's a little bit ambiguous, but okay. You know, so I was like falling asleep and I was like trying to relax and, and open up and everything. And then I immediately felt this sense of loss and sorrow and hang on with me. I'll explain why that's not bad. <laughs> um, I felt like something was moving away from me and I was able to identify who was kind of backing up, who was leaving their energy. And it was um, essentially one of the higher councils that I had been working with, the 9D Arcturian Council. Lots of you have heard me talk about them, how like, they're my super favorite and I read you know, their channeled transmissions that Daniel Scranton does like every single morning and this has been going on for two years. Well, Last night, I, like, so I, I have been in their bubble, like learning from them and activating my Arcturian DNA for, for two years. It's been, it's been a huge, big thing. But last night, as soon as I said, okay, to widen the gap, I felt them back their energy off. And I was like, hey, don't, like, don't leave guys, you know? <laughs> like, I love you, like stay, stay, like stay and hang out with me, right? And of course I, you know, feeling into it for a few minutes, I understood that they weren't going anywhere, they weren't leaving, but that to a certain, or, to a certain extent, for right now, our relationship is like complete, right? There's nothing, 
like it's just it's time for me to move on to something else for the time being and I understood that as soon as they backed off as soon as they widened the gap and made the space <laughs> then um what I could call my silver ray guides flooded in they flooded in because I had widened the gap because I had made the space and I saw the silver light um and earlier earlier yesterday before all this happened I had fallen asleep for a nap and got sucked out into the silver vortex which keeps happening <laughs> which was cool um so I knew that something was going to you know come through a little more intensely so anyways so I'm kind of um you know relaxing and the nine Arcturians are backing off and I understood that the energy that was going to flow in to replace them was higher in frequency so I'm right now I'm not going to identify any numbered dimensions to go with the silver ray but I can tell you that it's higher than 90 and so the silver ray was coming in even more strongly and I saw a white dragon shimmering with silver and there was this knightly figure like a medieval fantasy knight like r riding <laughs> riding this dragon coming in coming in and of course they don't the silver ray beings don't look like anything that was just how they represented themselves to me based on how I like things to look right I guess, I guess that was just my you know that was just a way for me to perceive them so you could perceive them as literally anything they can be anything they don't have a set structure they will present themselves to you in whatever way works for you and is your agreed on kind of template with them right so they flowed in and then for the then I um you know after I, I felt them for a while I felt them coming in and I understood that they had been coming through for me for a couple of months and I had kind of already thought that I had gotten new guides like I would kept getting this message like you're getting new guides it's time for you to get new guides a new higher council and I had seen my silver ray guides once um, when they first made themselves known to me when the first time I came out of this silver tunnel of light this sil like it was literally like a silver tunnel of light and I was like that's interesting because typically when I come out of a out of a quantum tunnel the, it's usually golden light it's usually golden light I'm going to talk more in another video about the golden versus the silver but so for the first time I popped out of this silver light quantum tunnel and before I opened my eyes I saw a little black stick figure at the back of the tunnel like way 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 through the dimensions through the tunnel and I was like that's that's bizarre a little black stick figure is in the quantum tunnel and then it like went like this it like waved at me and it was so funny um so that's funny is that the at least the way I experience them the silver ray beings are like very funny they have a sense of humor and they communicate it to me all the time super lighthearted. things are supposed to be funny and amusing and just you know like a little black stick figure waving at me like seriously <laughs> um, so then I fell asleep <laughs> last night after the white dragon with the starry the starry knight but knight with a k you know <laughs> the guy who was the guy who was riding the dragon w was like kind of sh in shadow but with like silver stars and it was really beautiful and I fell asleep and all night all of my dreams I was going around to different people that I've met and people I don't know maybe some of them were you <laughs> um basically like going hey like you can meet your silver ray guides you can you can meet this frequency you can meet your guides you can welcome in this higher council and so big invitation here today if you would like to invite in your higher council of silver ray beings <laughs> to come and guide you and hang out with you and co-create with you and all of that you basically just need to widen the gap make some space relax take things less seriously and then just invite them in um, you just say like come 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 welcome right <laughs> yes come 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 welcome welcome come come and be my guides right come and be my higher counsel um you know if you have a you can do it literally however you want so do it however you want but if you're like sitting there wondering like I don't know how to do that you can go into meditation and ask for it or literally just do it while you're falling asleep but like doesn't need to be complicated at all just like my second video right was all about it can be easy <laughs> let it be easy so definitely let it be easy um there's something else I wanted to say. It's gone. I guess it wasn't important. <laughs> um, widen the gap. 
widen the gap. Okay, so some things that you love might be giving you space. There might be it might be becoming more spacious in your life, right? More spacious in your life. But the things that are really, really, really closest to you will stay with you inside of like your container. And then there's the gap, the space that the silver light fills up. And then there's everything else beyond that. So um, for example, like my, my family life has been really, really amazing lately. And I'm just getting really closer with my family. But at the same time, I've been in the her hermit cave and um, I haven't really been talking to my friends or like anybody I've been off of social media. It's been like a super, super hermit time. So there's this like gap right between me and most of the world. But inside of my hermit cave really really new levels of closeness with like my human family right with my human family um so there's that you know um it, this isn't widen the gap doesn't mean widen the gap between you and everything it's just the gap between you and things that belong outside of your hermit cave basically i'm probably going to hear more about the hermit cave later I think this is basically it for today. This was just an invitation for you to make space and essentially invite in the silver ray guides, the silver ray beings to be one of your higher collectives that are co-creating your life with you for a period of time until you decide to move on. Um, oh yeah, I now I remembered what I was gonna say. The this process can take a while. Like for me, since the first time I encountered the silver ray and the first time I saw that little dude waving at me but to like last night when like the changing of the guard finally happened, when I had some of my guides step back and some of the new silver ones step in, it was like almost two months. So this process can take as long as it wants to take. Don't just don't put any time frame on it, right? If it, some of you might happen instantly, some of you, you might start the intention now and it might manifest like a year from now, who knows? Time is like irrelevant to them. It doesn't, there's no, there's no time here. There's, there's no time. So don't put any time pressure on yourself. And that's it for today. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.